Welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. This is going to be our last episode in the series on what really matters for permanent weight loss. I'm Dr. Andrea Christian Parks and welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. I, um, I'm excited for this last one and I think it's, it's, it's going to help some of you, at least, at the very least, to recognize whether you do or don't actually have this essential. But before I go forward, remember, subscribe, hit your notifications so you don't miss any of these episodes, and give me a thumbs up if you like it so that other people will find it. All right? Okay, let's get going. Now, in the last few weeks, we've talked about multiple things that you really must have for permanent weight loss. We're, we're getting out of this whole on a diet, off a diet mentality. On the program, off the program. We're not, we're not doing that one anymore because that doesn't work. That doesn't get us to permanent weight loss. I, I don't know anybody ever who has gone on a diet, off a diet, and successfully maintained their weight loss. Not, I don't, I just don't. Now, there's people who... There, I also have not ever seen people who've gone on a diet, off a diet, on a diet, off a diet, new program, off diet, new program, like just sequential diets who also have done successful weight loss and maintained it permanently. Just that doesn't work either. So we've been talking about commitment and consistency and resiliency. And the last thing, and I'm not, none of these necessarily are in any re required order. They don't have to go one, two, three not like that you need them all to get this going so what do you need you need belief and i bring this up because i have done many consultations with people i have done so many conversations about weight with patients and clients and this piece is missing we really don't believe it's possible to go from 240 pounds to 150. We don't believe it's possible to go from 180 down to 125. We don't believe that it's possible that if we ratcheted ourselves down the scale to 140, that it's actually possible to stay there without misery. We don't believe it. And here's why. Because our beliefs are based on what we think. And what we think is based on what we practice. And we've been practicing for a long time. I'm fat. I'm obese. I'm always going to be this way. My family is like this. This is just my lot in life. Pick something. That's Those are the thoughts you've practiced. The, the belief of I can stay at 140 pounds for the rest of my life and enjoy it and not be miserable. It's not something that we believe. We have not practiced that thought. We do not think that. Some of us don't think it's even possible. Some of us will not even consider the thought, well, I might be able to lose 30, 40, 50 pounds. It's possible. Most people are thinking, yeah, that's that's a lot. I don't think it's, I haven't been that weight since I was in high school. I'll probably never get back there. Those are the thoughts. That's what we believe. In order to move, you have to have a vision of where you're trying to go, what you're trying to create. You would never, I want you to imagine, this is not exactly a perfect example, but it, have you ever been to Ikea and you buy something that has to be assembled and it's in a thousand pieces and you're like, oh my God, what am I going to do with this? And then there's instructions and you're like, what? What does this even say? And it's a nightmare. <laughs> so that's kind of how we think about weight loss. We don't really know where we're going. We don't know how to get there. We're not sure what it's going to look like when we get there. We think it's supposed to look like this picture on the box. But it doesn't look like that now, and it, we don't have any idea of how this thing, all these pieces, become the picture. Problem is, for most of us with weight loss, we don't even have a picture. 
we have no vision. There's nothing that we believe in. We're just trying to hit some random number target without really knowing what it is supposed to look like when we get there. And because we don't practice any sort of belief in that vision, we don't ever go there because we don't have any belief in it. It doesn't exist. So if you're going to be successful at permanent weight loss, you got to start working on the, the thinking in your brain about what you're trying to create. What is really possible? What do you really want? What does it look like? What will it be like to be there? Not, I just won't be here. No, what does it mean to be there at the goal of what you want to create? So I want you to consider that. Do you believe what you want is possible? Even if you don't believe it's inevitable, do you believe it's possible? And I know for a lot of you, the answer is going to be no when you really think about it. And that's okay, because you can get there. You don't have to be there today, but you can get there. And let me just say, if you want help getting there, I'm here, okay? You can email me at drandreachristianparks at gmail.com and let's set up a consultation. You and I can sit down for an hour and talk about what you're trying to create and move you forward. Then, if you think you want to keep working together, maybe we can make that happen. All right, I'm so glad you were here. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining me for this series. I want you to come back, come back all the time to my channel and let's see each other again. All right, make some comments for me if you want to tell me what you need. I'm thrilled to hear it, all right? Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.